Hello and welcome to the first in a series of tutorials I'm going to be doing on the Blender game engine. In this first tutorial I'm going to be showing you how to set up some basic game movements such as forward, backwards, left and right. So the first thing we want to do is highlight your character and uh, come down here where it says static and we're going to change that to dynamic and now we want to come over here and we want to add a sensor, controller, and actuator. <coughs> and we're going to connect them up by connecting these little tabs with a string here. And now we want to change where it says always. We want to select keyboard. And where it says key, we want to... We're gonna, the first command we'll do is we're going to tell them to turn to the left. So we'll make that the L key, the left key, the left arrow. <coughs> so now over here where it says motion, this first column is the x-axis, the second column is the y-axis, and the third column is the z-axis. And they correspond with these, uh, the blue ar arrow, the red arrow, and the green arrow. There's a little chart over here on the left-hand side if you forget what, what's what. But uh, for, for to turn left, we're going to make that a rotation on the z-axis. So we're going to highlight this column here. <coughs> and we're going to make that a 0.03. So now when we hit our P button for play, and we hit the L key, our character turns to the left. And now we're going to do the same thing for the right. We're going to add a controller, sensor, and actuator. <coughs> going to connect them up. We're going to change always to keyboard. We're going to change the key and make that our, the right arrow. And for the right arrow, we're going to want a rotation in the z-axis. And this is going to be negative 0.03. And now when we hit our P button for play, the left's going to turn to the left, and the right's going to turn to the right. So now our, our character can turn left and right now. So now we want to add forward and backwards to the character. So we're going to add two more sensors, two more controllers, and two more actuators. We want to connect them up. And we want to change it to keyboard. In my game I have it wired up for a joystick, but I'm going to show you how to do that in another tutorial. It's not real hard, but there's a couple things that you need to know to make it a little easier. So for this first command we're going to make that the up arrow. And we're going to give that a force in the X axis. Since it's since our character has dynamic physics, we're going to we're going to want to use the force command to move him. So so under the X axis and force, we're going to give him maybe a force of 10. <coughs> um, the amount of force you need to move your character is related to how much your character weighs over here and our character has a mass of 1 and this dampening is the amount of friction your character has so if that's set down at 1 he's going to slide pretty far whenever you stop and if it's set at 10 you're not going to be able to move him at all because that's going to be like 100% friction so I have mine set on 7 but anyways with a force of 10 for the up arrow. Now if we hit the P button and you push up, now our character moves and you can move him in combination with the left and right and there you have it. Looks like he's a little slow moving forward so you might want to up the, the value. <coughs> See if we make out a 15. Moves a little faster. Now all you have to do is 
set your down arrow up. So this, for this last one, we're going to select the down arrow key. And for the motion, force in the x-axis. We're going to make that negative 15. And now that should be it for setting the directions up. Let's see. Push down, he goes backwards. There you go. There's your basic control setup. Thanks for watching my first tutorial. I'll be making some more, so check back.